everyone and welcome to Blonding the Boys. The boys are out so let's do something girly. Today I'll be walking you through how I do a gel nail fill from start to finish starting with filing down the top layer and filling in the new growth areas and then of course changing your color. I started doing my own nails a couple years ago after I treated myself to going to the nail salon and having a gel polish and I thought you know what I could do this myself I think I hope <laughs> and um, so I gave it a try because I just really wanted to keep it up. It was such a nice, nice treat, but I really couldn't, you know, go to the salon all the time. So I thought, why not teach myself how to do it? So what I thought I'd do is I'd share with you how I do it, and um, so maybe you could do it yourself. So hope you enjoy. We're gonna go with Harmony's Gelish brand. It's the brand I've been using for a few years. I really like it. It's great. Uh, there are a number of brands very similar out there. Um, so yeah, see which one you like the best. Let me know. All right, first you're gonna need your Dremel. You'll need a nice brush and your files and your buffer. And you'll need your lamp. And you're gonna need acetone and a little cup to put it in. Rubbing alcohol and lint-free wipes. Your Pro Bond and pH Bond. You can use both or one or the other. I, I use both. Uh, your foundation. And next, the hard gel. And of course, your colors. And then you top it off. And lastly, your nourish. Just nourish your cuticles. All right, so you're gonna start with your Dremel on high and just carefully take off the top layer of gel. I'm just getting down to the hard gel. And then you can go ahead and make them a little bit shorter, just a little bit, um, save yourself some filing time. You can also do this with a coarser nail file instead of using the Dremel, but of course it will take you a lot more time. <laughs> file the edges just to make everything smooth. Already the Dremel's done quite a good job and then buff away just making sure everything's down and then we're going to start with the rubbing alcohol it'll dry out your nails you want everything all the oils and grease gone i always start with a ph bond and just put that over your natural nail you don't need to go on the residue the gel part and then your pro bond again over the same area and then foundation, use a very small amount, just really, really, really minimal. Again, just on your natural growth, the new growth there. And bake for about 30 seconds. This is your hard gel, put it on your brush. And your first coat as always should be quite thin. And so just paint it on. It's kind of was hard, a bit hard doing it. I'm used to doing everything so much closer to my face. I was trying to get everything in the camera. The camera, the light, and I could not fit, apparently. Anyways, hopefully you can see what's going on. And then always make sure that you put your brush in your acetone after just to clean it off, otherwise the, the lights that are in your room will, will start hardening the gel, so it'll ruin your brush. So clean your brush after every application. And then your second coat, this is part I'm still trying to get the hang of. I'm not the best at it yet, but I'm getting the shape. So you want to have a bit of a ball of gel in the middle of the middles of your nail and then kind of smooth it out, always capping the free edge just so you create that what a natural nail looks like, a little bit of a raised arch and curve to it. The gelish hard gel is actually self-leveling. so. It's really nice. It just smooths itself and it really helps you not have all these crazy bumps and brush lines and whatnot. And then of course, you go ahead and bake again. For fill, I usually do two coats, just a thin coat and then a thicker coat, and then you wipe the sticky residue off with the rubbing alcohol and lint-free wipe. Now we're gonna move back to the Dremel again and put it on low settings just to take off a very fine layer. With the Gelish brand, you have to take off the first sort of layer of stickiness um, just to get it smooth. Well, it's easier to do with the Dremel than doing it with a file, I find. And then give it a buff. Then we move on to the fun part, the paintings. So this is just the same as painting your nails normally with any sort of nail polish. Um, it is quite, actually, this is more forgiving than regular nail polish, I find because it just doesn't dry as quickly, so you can move it around a little bit if you've made a mistake. And then, of course, you want to put that under the lamp. Make that hard, perfect. And then I'm gonna do a little decorative fun with a little sparkle, why not? 
kind of globby actually. Alright, All right, now onto the second coat. Depending on the opacity of your nail polish, you may need to do three coats. Sometimes you can get away with two. Just depends what look you're going for. And then the top it off. This is going to be the hard layer that seals it in. So this time you are going to seal it by coating your free edge. See right there? Making sure it's all sealed in. Yeah, and that. That makes it so that your nails are going to chip and it'll last you for about three to four weeks. It's quite fantastic. Put it under the lamp, of course. And then last, well, almost lastly, we'll put on some rubbing alcohol again just to take off the sticky layer. And now your nails are hard and shiny. And then I always end up putting on some nourish just to put, make my cuticles happy. Give it a little, give them a little love. Oh, they look a little red, isn't that funny? Weird. Anyways, there we go. You feel good. All done. And that is it. Yay. So that's it guys. All done. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. And if you have any questions, just please leave them below. Give a thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe. So I'll keep these videos coming. So you can also check us out on blondieandtheboys.com and keep up to date on what's going on in the blog over there and of course on Instagram. So I hope you guys again have a great day, love you all, and just hey, trying to keep it cute in the chaos here. So bye guys.